Hello and welcome back to Darkest of Days. In the last one was a World War One mission, and I'm really not sure what's next, actually. Huh. Okay. Well, she pretty much summed it up. We'll drop in outside of the city, make our way in this gate. A lot of the weird time signatures are coming from around here, so we'll check that out first, unless another pass suggests itself. Now, her line about open engagement protocol means you shoot first, and you don't even bother asking any questions. This whole place is going to be under a million tons of rock and ash, so nobody's going to live anyway. Do whatever you need to do. Bring back this coal fella. Okay, so this is actually the last mission, as far as I remember. I thought this was supposed to be Pompeii. Or maybe it is. Anyways, we'll see uh, see what happens. I was under the uh, assumption that there was more. Just judging by what the lady said at the end of the mission last time, but I guess not. My fellow time streamer, we meet again. I will not mince any more words. We are at a crisis point. Both organizations are seeking Dr. Cole with equal willingness to use violence. Mother's forces, including you, and our forces are marching headlong into a terrible confrontation at Pompeii. I have some advice for you. Stay out of harm's way and keep yourself safe. Mother's forces will not prevail in this fight. We are too well established. But I see a bright future for you with us. You've proven your worth, and we are always looking for talented agents. You see, we're the same. Chronotech, the opposition, it's the same organization. Only we're from the future. Mother has trouble accepting this, but it's true. We're playing for the same team. I tell you again, we will find Cole and eliminate anyone standing in our path. Keep yourself alive and we will find you later. But if you try to be Mother's hero, you will be struck down and buried under ash in the streets of Pompeii. It's time for you to complete your journey, Morris. Good luck. And if you happen to find Dr. Cole first, you'd better pray he's come to his senses and is willing to make a change to history. Yeah, uh, whatever you say, pal. I'm just here to shoot shit. All right. <laughs> Pompeii, 79 AD. Great. Just where I want to be. Hold on, I need to adjust my mic a little bit. I'm still getting used to having a mic that's on a stand instead of on my headset. Volcano. Angry, angry, angry. As I casually stand here and watch it erupt. Run, peasants, run! Flee in terror. These guys don't give a fuck. They're like, whatever, just a volcano. Guess I could sprint. 
here he is. Morris, Bob. Bob Morris. Alexander Morris. A pleasure to meet you, sir. Bob's our tech guru, and you two are gonna hijack the opposition's data stream. They've had a head start looking for coal, but that gives us an opportunity. We're gonna keep the opposition in the inner city busy with tactical interference, while you two sneak into their HQ in the amphitheater. Find a portable terminal, tap into their data net, and we'll know where they're going and what they're doing. Morris, your security detail for this op. Keep Bob safe while he does his thing. That's the plan. I've updated the battle map, sir. If you're stocked up on weapons and ordnance, I'm ready to do this. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Yep, I'm good to go there, Bob. Nothing out of place or weird about what we're doing. It's fine. Are you coming, Bob? Huh? Following these guys. These we guys are all action. Nearby. Looks like peasants to me. Do your thing. She could at least send us somewhere with electricity. Oh, never mind. Bob's not going to do anything. Reinforcements. You know, Morris, we should probably check out the coast. Might find some weapons and more ammo. Yeah. Might. Ow, ow, ow. What are you guys doing? Push up. Shoot. All targets are open. Y'all gonna shoot back? What's going on? Good. <laughs> They're trying to fight him with spears. You're not really gonna go after me with a spear, are you? Oh, fantastic. I can't kill it, huh? Ow, ow, ow. Shit, shit, shit. That was not very elegant. Fantastic. This will be fun. Holy crap. Protect me, wooden cart. Uh... So do 
I just run straight up to it? And it looks like that's it, huh? So at least wait till I heal. There you go, get wrecked. Don't you do it. Dragon Romans with submachine or with a uh, automatic weapons. Gotta love this game. Okay, I guess I missed what it told me to do. Come on, Bob. Oh. Look out, local. running around circles. All right. Got some more buddies. Oh. Bunch of them out there. Probably gonna have to pick up their weapons. Jesus, come on. Opposition are searching everywhere. Be careful. Oh crap. Heal up. I really don't want to die here. From dead friendlies. Deployment mode C, 150 meter grid. Let's sweep it. Let's keep going to the amphitheater. The area, We're getting me. close. Hiding? No. Weapon restrictions are off. Let it fly. Oh my. Run, peasants. Run to the hills. Clear the area. 
There before Mars show up. How many of these damn things do I have to? Okay. Here's the amphitheater. Get in there. you to activate the nearby generators. I'll reroute their power output into the teleport system. Okay, Bob. All targets are open. There's one up there, huh? Ow. didn't save me. Let's try and be a little bit more careful, shall we? By running straight in. Clear out these agents. I still have a chance to hack their terminal. Working on it, buddy. Working on it. Get up higher. Where do I get up there? Ow! Shit. I don't know how to get up there. Uh, maybe one of those doors on the other side. Maybe there's a ladder. sure what to do here uh, or where to go more like it guess I'm gonna have to go back across the courtyard Ow. kill these fuckers Some stairs going up. There we go. Okay, I've got enough juice to do the trick. Now 
Now you'll see something. Will I? Good deal. I stopped their data wipe before it got underway. And I was right. They've located Dr. Cole. What the... Oh, shit. Uh... This looks good. Take cover! A heavy! Oh. When they said take cover, they meant take cover. Okay, heal up. Start plinking away at these guys. I don't like the sound of that at all. Excuse me. Damn it. Do that the shaking. Did we get him? Engage all hostile. Sounds like a fucking AT. They go. Where do they go? Oh, Jesus! It's an A10. Holy crap, man! That is scary. All right. Oh yeah. With those generators you activated, I've routed our teleport destination through the opposition's own time stream. That'll give us a jump on them. Now All right. Let's get the hell out of here before another one of those guys shows up. All right. Sounds like a plan. Surely it won't be that simple. Or will it? Doing back here. It's ash all over everything. Volcanoes primed, Morris. We don't have much time. You don't say, Bob. Oh, swapped all my weapons for some reason. Going. I think that's yeah. That's cold over there. Oh yeah. Let's go shoot him. We've come for you, Doctor Cole. We're in a crisis, and we're on the clock. You need to need to what? Please come with us. Isn't that the usual? It matters not. I will go peaceably. However, there is the matter of my painting. It demands conclusion. Look, Doc. We don't have any time to waste. Yes, yes, I'm sure, I'm sure. Running around and around and around, and you have no idea. I'm sorry, Dr. Cole, but what the hell are you talking- And there! Okay! Artistic urges and all that, you know? But seeing you massive warriors in full battle gear does remind me- Remind you of what? I can't believe I haven't taken a moment to see the arena. You'll join me, won't you? Oh my god, Frank, Son this guy. A... This is not the way I expected. Alright, Morris. Our guys are inside the arena. Cole's in there, too. Let's mop up the last of the opposition and get Cole out of here. Alright. Let's get this show on the road. This way, eh? Y'all are just running around in circles or something. 
Haven't made it very Morris, far. Morris, you see what those opposition fucks did? This is why we can't have nice things. <laughs> I'm tired of diddly fucking around. Take this and incinerate anything in your way. Okay, incineration in progress, but I'm about to die here. It's a terrifying sound. How the hell is he hitting me? I really need to heal now. Ooh, it has a actually has an on side, okay. Oh, it's like an alt fire. Whoa. Okay. Die. Burn alive. I guess my buddies aren't moving up with me. Ow. This thing is brutal. <laughs> oh, so tempting. Oh, shit. Table opposition telesyncs. Oh. Ow. Where the hell are all my buddies? We know not the altar. Get out of there, local. Who the hell is shooting at me? Shoot back! They're done. 
Ow. Jeez. What? What the hell was that? Speaking of enough diddly fucking around. Oh dear. Not good. Just walking into it. Can we just go nab this asshole fucking doctor guy and get out of here, please? Ow. Didn't know those were bad guys. <laughs> Honestly. Yeah, let's do that. Ah. Ow. Okay, recharge. Heal up. Where are we going? Straight ahead. Time stream scan shows several monsters. there yet? Oh dear. Please don't make me have to k kill 5,000 people. Oh, I wish for too much. Oh, no, nope, friendlies. Oh, that's the arena. Okay. Oh, this should be fun. Oh. Yep, you all go first.
supposed to go. Obviously. What am I doing? This is a good question. There's a heavy over here still. have to just kill everyone out here because uh, where else am I supposed to go no what the hell where are you going in Looks like everyone's waiting. What is going on? Is there someone like lingering in the back? We haven't got or something? Where are we going? Uh-huh. Who is shooting at me? Oh, there goes my frame rate. What the hell? Oh. Okay, enough, enough, enough. I don't get it. Why are we stopped? I just didn't know where to go, that's why. Okay, look out. In we go. <clears throat> this again. That's uh, interesting. Let's try to do this a different way, shall we? Stop fucking shaking. Frustrating. Frustrating. All right. 
Next time we'll take better cover. Stop with that shit. I know, I get it. There's a volcano. Alright. So, expect a huge amount of them. Rush. Well, that was amazing! You've traveled quite a long ways and quite a long time. I've been keeping an eye from afar. Ancient Dixon! That's your average snafu, Doctor. We're short on time, of course. I suggest we make an urgent exit. Not even enough time for small talk? So be it and let it be. I am ready, even perhaps willing. Better fucking be, asshole. We've been chasing you all over the place. Morris, you've done well. I'm honored to be your partner. Let's head out before we get buried in ash like the rest of these poor saps. <clears throat> all right. After you. I think that about does it. That was a long one. Dr. Cole, it is so good to see you back. I was. All of us at Chronotech were terribly worried. What would happen without you? Oh, Mother, you have done just fine in my absence. I'm sorry for damning you with such faint praise. I should say you did wonderfully. Thank you, Dr. Cole, but it is much better to have you back. We have much to discuss. I'm sure you'd fancy a moment to clean up and refresh. So may I meet you in your office in one hour? Yes, that's splendid. We have much to discuss. I will use the time to confer with our technicians and check the status of the time streams we've been monitoring. We're awaiting confirmation, but I think we've corrected all the problems. I will see you shortly. Oh, so nice to be back. Home. Yet what a journey. You saw some sights, did you? Oh, a thousand times, yes, and a thousand times again. But all in the name of science, of course. I had to keep it to myself, but I was testing a hypothesis that could have changed everything. There was no reason to- Dr. Cole, finally we meet. It is a pleasure and an honor. I've followed your work since I was a child, and this is one of the most fascinating moments of my life. And perhaps I could say the same of you, but I apologize for my ignorance. May I ask who you are? I am Dr. Victor Stringo. I am in charge of Chronotech, but from a few decades down the line. So, meet the new boss? Is that why you're here? I have a question for you, Dr. Cole. After your quest, your experiment, do you still believe we may not change the past, no matter what? Well, my data show <clears throat> that changes do not have the immediate negative consequences we forecast. 
but I still firmly believe that any change to history will result in possibly vast and resonating repercussions. It is in our best interest to protect history. Who am I, or anybody else, to play God? I'm all for helping those that suffer, but dark days teach valuable lessons. The events of the past define our present selves, and to meddle around is to court disaster. Thank you, Doctor. I have my answer. And it breaks my heart to hear it. I have read all your works several times. You are a hero to millions, including me. And so it pains me greatly to do this. Hey! What the fuck? Why did I get to do that? Time. That will be the end to violence if I have my choice. And I have an explanation. All right, I'll listen, but my question stands. It is regrettably tragic, but necessary. The gentlemen we interfered with, the Welshes and the Petroviches, are the ancestors of some brilliant scientists. In their research, they discovered a way to code the viruses to seek out specific genetic codings, specifically the DNA that we receive from our racial heritage. It was an effort to combat rare specific diseases, but their work fell victim to espionage. A member of a radical fringe group was a lab assistant, and sent copies of their research to a Middle East Institute. There, less talented but more fanatic scientists worked for years, modifying the virus. The end result was a fatal pathogen that could be targeted to a specific race. A terrorist cell smuggled it into the United States, not too long after you were seized, Dexter and released it with an airburst from a weather balloon over Washington, D.C. It probably would have killed only a few million if these less talented scientists had stabilized the virus. But they didn't, and their sloppy work rapidly mutated into a highly contagious bug that spread throughout the world. Over 99% of those with DNA sequences from European heritage died horribly. The plague brought a secondary wave of death. Rioting and wars as governments struggled to survive and the economies collapsed. A year after the airburst, eight out of ten people in North America were dead. Almost two billion worldwide. My family, kids, my wife, even if I could get out of this damn time prison, there's nothing. I am sorry, believe me. That's where we come in. Dr. Cole's rule about never changing history has remained intact. But we've decided to make one exception, to prevent this mass genocide. I am sorry that I could not get Dr. Cole to see our point of view. So you come back and kill him? What a humanist. Actually, this was our last resort. We've been leaving him clues, trying to move his research in the right direction. Finally, we forced a crisis of conscience and he took his sudden excursion. We hoped he'd see the facts. But even direct evidence didn't shake his true belief. Eliminating him now will make our job that much easier. You mean there's more? Yes, Agent Dexter, there is. Although we expect more resistance from this chronotech and mother, we will stop that virus before it starts. So my family... so everyone is saved? Not yet. But it's chronotechs, our chronotechs, highest priority. And... Agents Dexter and Morris, we're always looking for new talent. Consider it. So, what the hell do we do now, brother? Yep. So, kind of a bizarre ending that um, almost led you to believe there was going to be a a sequel, which, you know, nine years later, there still isn't. But anyways, it was fun going back through this. It's been years since I'd played it, so it was fun. I enjoyed it. Hope you guys did too. I'm just going to let the uh, credits roll out, and uh, that'll be that. So, uh, yeah, see you guys in another game. Take it easy.